Hi everybody, I hope you're all well and you've had, when is this going out? Oh my god, this does my head in this does. When is this going out? Wednesday. I hope you're having a good week. <laughs> um, it's it's actually Monday. Um, uh, no it's not, it's Tuesday. Oh, flipping heck. Uh, oh, oh no, and Rosie wants to be let in. Hold on. Come on Rosie, get in. So, yeah, no, it's Tuesday, but this is going to go out on Wednesday. Um, it's Jack's first day of his exams, um, and I thought it'd be really nice to make him, for when he comes home, to have something, really, a, light, a lovely treat. And Kia from New Zealand said, she kind of floated this idea about puff pastry, um, chocolate spread, nuts, all rolled together and baked. Now I thought, oh, that sounds good. So it was a great suggestion, Kia. Thank you for that. Um, so that's what I'm going to make. So come and have a look at the ingredients. So today I actually bought that from Lidl because I was in my did I sort of weekly shop this morning. Um, yeah, got one of those for the for the task, and the boys would be well happy with that anyway because I don't often buy this. To be fair. Um, it's nuts, cashews and walnuts, just what I had in the house. So, uh, yeah, they'll float up the ingredients here. Um, a little bit of ice and sugar because I thought, let's let's see if I can drizzle, once they've cooled down on top, a little bit of decoration. Egg for the um, egg basting business. Obviously a pack of ready rolled. Um, yeah, a relatively, really simple in fact, really simple re recipe, but it's the end result's going to be absolutely delicious. So I'm going to get started and get cooking. See you in a bit. So I'm going to lay it all out flat. Um, I've weighed this for the cost breakdown. This is 150 grams of that um, chocolate spread. Um, I've chopped the nuts. I mean, if you didn't have a chopper of any kind, you could use a knife, hand chop them. Um, yeah, so I'm just really just going to spread this and then layer, layer the nuts over and then roll. So hopefully this goes well because um, I hope it's not too tough on the pastry. I'm not 100% sure. Never done this before. I've got to spread it relatively thinly. Well, that was quite therapeutic. I felt like a bit like a plasterer. Um, it, yeah, it had it that level of uh, zoning out. Well, I don't know what how plasterers feel, but <laughs> it really was quite um, quite enjoyable. So I'm just scattering on the mixed nuts, which is just walnuts and cashew nuts, and then I'm going to roll it. Right, it's going to roll it now. Fold over it. Fold it over initially that way and then press it down, I think. I honestly am no expert. I'm just kind of winging it a little bit. And then just try and start rolling. Actually, it holds, helps to hold the paper. Brilliant. I'm just going to cut it, and then we're going to put it in in the. Um, both air fryers. I'm going to see how they turn out in the Ninja and test it in the um, Kasori as well. So 
13. Not bad. Right, let's get them in the air fryers and then I can egg wash them and start cooking. So I'm gonna get some in the Ninja first. I've already lined it, lined it because it's, yeah, I just don't want it sticking to the crisp plate. So I reckon we could get six in here, this drawer. So get them in the kasori. Right, now we can egg wash. Right, um, so I've just looked up someone um, online who's done cinnamon puff pastry rolls and they had, they suggest, well, they made their cinnamon rolls at 180 for 12 minutes, um, which is what we're gonna do here and do exactly the same on the, um, on the Ninja. And it's 350 Fahrenheit, but I'll put it up here somewhere. So it'd be, let's go do the Ninja now. So obviously you draw one air fry, 180 for 12 minutes. Yeah. So whilst that's cooking, I thought I'd let you know um, some of my plans for um, the allotment. Um, basically, I think I might create a separate channel um, and I've, I, mean, I have actually already created it. So it will be, I'm fancying really fancy idea of doing daily vlogs Monday to Friday um, and so that's what that's planning the, the, the channel's called Colchester Allotment Diaries but it's really hard to think up names I'm, I actually really struggle with that but you know it is what it is <laughs> so that will do for now and I think it, that might well stay uh, so from Monday onwards there'll be a daily vlog till, till Friday Monday to Friday um, but I'll put a link in the description um, on the um, in the description here uh, but there won't be any more allotment vlogs via this channel It'll just be cooking and this is, it's always Mondays Wednesdays and Fridays I do a cooking vlog on this channel and um, that won't change uh, but for the allotment channel that will be Monday Tuesday Wednesday Thursday Friday so that'd be quite good actually quite a good challenge and I look forward to that I really do um, and I'm hoping, really hoping that I'm going to double the size of my allotment, but there'll be more of that on that channel. And the Patreon is the same for both, because this is with the umbrella. Um, and I really appreciate your support. And with that in mind, I wanted to say a massive thank you for my super thanks. Um, Mo, Mo Wilkinson, aka Maureen. Oh my God, honestly, I nearly fell off my seat. Thank you so much for your super thanks. That was huge really oh, really generous thank you so much beverly evans and oh oh hold on beverly evans wait a minute oh and elaine fisher elaine you you've more than once you've done a super thanks i really appreciate everybody who do, does super thanks so elaine fisher and beverly evans thank you so much for your super thanks as well um it, it really all, all of that really helps keep the channel going um uh, well I, I can't say how blown away I am by your generosity I really can't thank you so much and th yeah so if you if you're into the allotment stuff go ahead go look at the description and check out the um, link on it and subscribe it'll be a zero at the moment <laughs> um, I would yeah that would be great because I know that you know not everyone wants to watch the allotments which is fine and I thought it would probably be a good idea to separate it so yeah, head over for that. And thank you again to my super thanks, Maureen, Elaine and, and Beverly. Thank you very much. Right, how many more minutes? I'll see you in a minute when these are ready. I'm already smelling. Ooh, ooh the boys, especially Jack, because he's gonna full on exam today. 
and it's going to be every day for the next two weeks so I'm going to have to start thinking up some nice other things as well <laughs> right I'll see you in a bit right let's have a look oh now that looks really nice oh I love these they, they look quite funny those ones um yeah wow let's get them out I'll try and keep I'll get, keep the ninja ones together and keep the kasori ones together so I'm gonna have to put you down for this this is too big a job let's just check the underside actually it's terrible it might be worth turning them hmm. yeah let's turn the ninja ones and I'll see if the kasori ones need to be done as well because you never know get these in for a few more minutes same temperature 180 for literally three minutes I'll check it too so looking at the kasori ones let's have a look at the underside they're, they're, they're not they're not as bad you know like in terms of need I don't think That looks quite brown on the underside, but that's not so interesting. I will do them perhaps for one minute to two. So for two minutes. Let's check the ninjas. Add a minute is out of the three. Good. Yeah. Let's be back on the, the, the Corsori as well. I just upped it to 200 because I just just felt like it just for the last blast. Yeah. They they look alright to me. I'm gonna actually put them on the um on the cooling rack now. Yeah, I'm going to put them on the cooling rack as well. So, interestingly, the ninjas do look a lot darker. Especially on the top. See, these were the tops. Compared to the um, Kosori ones. Yeah. So I'm, I want to decorate these. Um, they've cooled down quite a bit. So I'm just going to put them on the plate. Because that's where I'll decorate them on. Um, the boys are due home soon, so I do want to get this done before they actually get home so they can have one straight away because they're generally starving. Uh, I want to decorate them with icing sugar, but I've never really done that before, so I'm not sure how well it's going to go. But then I thought sprinkle the remaining nuts on top of that. Hopefully that will look nice. So yeah, let's start doing that now. <laughs> not quite what I had in mind, but it doesn't matter. Like this, that will do. Really, the nuts could stick to that. I think that might be what where it might be quite helpful. Not on these conical ones. They're um, yins. I think they'll oh, maybe a little bit. taste test one. Oh, the hardships of this job. <laughs> right, I'm 
I'm going to put one on a plate, uh, one half of the ninja and one half of the kasori, so we can cut it in the middle. Um, I don't want to eat two. So I'll be back in for a taste test. So, uh, kasori ninja. So I'm going to cut them both open. So you can see. Sorry. Ooh. Let's try and... Ooh. Nice. Can you see that? So Kosori insides. Mm. Ninja. Mm. Well, I mean, they're both all right. Look, I, I, why would the ninja be slightly more dark? I, I'm not actually sure because it's all meant to be, excuse me, got a bit of pastry. Um, same temperature. I don't know. But I'm going to eat one half or bite into one half this one. This is the Kasori one. I mean, uh, I think they're both going to be lovely. Mmm. Oh, my God. Mmm. Oh. Well, chocolatey nuts and puff pastry. Can't go wrong really, can you? That's really lovely. Perhaps the pastry is a little bit more yummy looking on the ninja one. Hold on. Mmm. Mm. I think the ninja one was like properly cooked maybe a few more minutes I mean they both had extended minutes just a little bit longer in the, in the kasori because um I think the ninja one looks and it had a more of a crunch when I bit into it because of the pastry layers oh all the boys are gonna be happy that's really tasty right um I've got to leave it there I don't want to eat the whole lot I mean health you know it's got to try and I mean maybe when the camera's off I might just stuff my face <laughs> it's too tempting it really is um, I definitely need a, a cup of tea with this. Um, don't forget, if you really want to go and head over to my allotment channel, please do. Um, it's Colchester Allotment Diaries. There's a link in the description. Thank you very much if you do go head over. Um, yeah. Ooh. Oh, jeez. <sighs> I need a cup of tea. Yeah. So I will go and enjoy these because, you know, you only live once. Um, yeah, so... Thank you for watching everyone um, and thanks again for my super thanks Maureen, Beverly and Elaine. I really appreciate that massively and I'll see you all on the next one. Bye.